This segment sponsored by Carlson Financial. You're watching 13 News, Kansas News Leader. We have our financial expert, Carl Carlson of Carlson Financial um, with us today, and we are talking about inflation protection. So we all know what inflation is, and we're yeah. starting to feel it, yeah. but yeah. how do we protect ourselves against it? Okay, so thankfully, it's kind of settling down a little bit momentarily. Well, we hope that continues into the future here, but let's be prepared and i still think you need to always be thinking of how do i protect myself from inflation like are we talking about right now currently or yeah. are we talking about retirement in the future or both both okay yeah you got to be doing things now yeah. to protect yourself 20 years from now uh -huh. so inflation is going to look very different yeah and inflation is what they call the silent killer Oh. So you don't really see it coming. It's kind of like the frog in the pan. Uh -huh. If you put them in the pan and then heat it up slowly, it never jumps out. Yep. But if you just throw them in a hot pan, it boing right out. Yep. So that's the way you need to look at inflation. Like, let's get urgent. <laughs> so what? getting urgent, what does that mean? Okay, so historically there are some asset classes, that means types of investments, mm -hmm. that outpace inflation better than That's others. That's helpful. Yep, so you gotta look, what are those investments that I need to be in to make sure I'm outpacing inflation? One of those is growth stocks. Okay. Now right now I would throw into growth stock category something like Amazon or Microsoft, companies like that that are looking to grow, grow. Tesla, I think yeah. they're kind of looking to grow. So you're looking for those companies that really are trying to grow their company over time to help outpace inflation. And I think even right now, if you're the tech companies might even be the better ones, not just growth companies, but tech growth companies. It's specifically. Yeah, yeah. And uh, those that are gonna benefit most from artificial intelligence. Well, if we so. consider fixed indexed annuities, uh -huh. what does that mean? So that's the next thing you need to look at when you shift to safety. Okay. So now, okay, everybody though wants some safety in their portfolio, yeah, especially. Yeah, you gotta the, have it. Yeah, so that gives you the comfort when the market is just going mm -hmm. like the roller coaster. So there, what you're looking at is, uh, how do I get safe but still get a good return? And the fixed indexed annuity indexes its rate of return to stock market type of investments. You don't actually invest in them, but the rate of return is kind of linked to them so you have a better potential rate of return. So those are two great ones to stay ahead of inflation. One last question real quick. So you need to review and adjust your investments regularly. What does regularly mean? <laughs> and is that something I just do myself or that I need to do with my financial yeah, advisor? Yeah, you really need to have a financial advisor looking at it. You know, we do, we do it daily. So uh, we're looking at stocks every day. What do we make some shifts? We're not day traders and you really, that's a whole nother thing. Right. But uh, you need to really be maybe checking in quarterly yourself okay. and making sure your advisor is checking in a little more often than that. But uh, just to, okay, do I need to shift out of this one and into that stock or sure. things like that? And, and how much should I have in safety versus risky investments? Because if you want a little more safety, then you got to watch the stock market. And when it's up real nice, uh -huh. sell something and get into something more safe. You don't want to wait until the stock market tanks, then get and nervous, then. and then sell it way down low and move it to safety. That makes sense. Yep. All right, Carl, thank you so much. You bet. Thanks, Jared. All right, stay with us because right now we're going to head over and take a final look at the forecast.